uh, listen, some country is going to get millions of jobs when it comes to renewable energy. Uh, it uh, might as well be the United States. And to speak on behalf of Connecticut's workers is the president of the Connecticut Council of Machinists, our good friend John Harry. Hey, good afternoon. It's, it's too hot to have an event on global warming. <laughs> I'm John Harity. I'm the president of the State Council of Machinists. I'm honored to be here among such distinguished advocates for climate action. I want to especially thank Senators Blumenthal and Murphy for their work on this issue and for holding this event uh, in support of President Obama's Climate Action Initiative. Uh, the first thing I'd like to say, not on behalf of labor, but as a parent and a grandparent and a resident of Earth, I guess, that I believe that climate change is the most important issue for all of us for the rest of our lives. But let me speak as a representative of labor. Working families are on the front lines of the consequences of climate change. We don't have the resources to insulate ourselves or isolate ourselves from the harshness of this emerging crisis. When a working family in East Hartford goes without power for a week due to a freak snowstorm, they're not going to a hotel, no matter how cold it is. When a retiree in Milford faces a crushing heat wave like the one we're having now, they can't afford to turn on the air conditioner every day. And when our economy is disrupted by superstorms and infrastructure damage, the layoffs, the lack of growth, the soaring energy prices that follow hit workers, workers the hardest. The good news is that addressing climate change can mean growth and revitalization of our economy here in the U.S. and right here in Connecticut. Renewable energy means new technology, and that ought to be produced here. We are, we're seeing the growth, for instance, of Connecticut's fuel cell industry. And there's potential for thousands of jobs in that industry as climate change, as climate action takes effect. We need to tackle energy efficiency and energy conservation. And those fields translate into jobs here as well. For the building trades, for displaced workers, and for young people who might otherwise have to leave Connecticut to search for employment elsewhere. As we take on this issue of climate change, not only are we engaging in a critical, essential battle for our future, we open up opportunities that can revive our state and national economy. In the end, this is all about what kind of world our kids will inherit from us. Working families have always been ready to sacrifice for the next generation and to take up whatever challenge that entails. But to set that in motion, you need an agenda for change and the leadership to move us into the future. Fortunately, we have that in our two senators, Blumenthal and Murphy, and in the new initiative of President Obama. Thank you. disagree with John only in one point. It's not too hot to talk about climate. In fact, what we need to do, what we need to do is turn up the heat on Washington DC. Right?